falling in love with Denmark. Alright, so this is the bike that I rented and just made my way from the hotel to this nice little cafe and I'm about to um, discover the, the wonders of uh, Denmark. So the bike is a very useful, a very useful and important uh, tool in Denmark. So I'm going to take the bike and I'm going to ride to the subway, jump on the subway and take it into the city as far as I can go. I've got the next three to four hours to kill. So I'll be riding this bike. I'm falling in love with Denmark, Copenhagen. Just because of the fact that the bike is such a important part of the life, the lifestyle here. Um, I think it's dope. But then, then again, it is uh, it is uh, Scandinavia, so whatever. I have that car back in LA, that Toyota Rav4. I wonder if it's a if it's a hybrid. I can see it's a hybrid. All right. So anyway, yeah, let's get out of here. Well, I'm back in Los Angeles here in uh, Marina del Rey check me out not far from santa monica i think i might go to uh, venice beach eh? and check out the sights i'm on a bike today yep i'm just enjoying beautiful california sunny weather out here you know how californians do we just enjoy the enjoy the weather not too far from lax you know yep LAX is behind me, just enjoying the day, as I do. Santa Monica. Maybe I'll go to Playa Del Rey. Maybe. You know I'm not in California, right? This is not Los Angeles. But boy, oh boy, it looks like Marina Del Rey. I tell you, it looks a lot like Marina Del Rey. Yep. Nope, this is Copenhagen, Denmark, Scandinavia, a Nordic country. Peace. Well, it was a bit much. I had to uh, rent a bike, ride the bike down to, where's that place called? Ride the bike down to, I don't know, whatever that station was. After I rode it to that station, I took the train in wherever I took it. I don't know where the heck I'm going. I don't know. So anyway, I got off the train and I came all the way up here. And I don't know where I am. Don't really care. I'm impressed with what I see, so. Let me show you what I see. So I think this is a good enough place to just chill out for, for a minute. And it looks like it's pretty popular because they're filming over here. So I just happened upon all of this stuff. Not that I really care, but it is what it is. Yo, this is quite impressive. You got all these actors and shit, so whatever. Better not tell me anything. Yeah, man. You got the people over here doing their thing. Just happened to come up and see this stuff. Don't know what this is. But it is what it is. 
reporting from Copenhagen, Denmark. I don't know how the the Danes, what 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 accent they have. It'd be a shame if I were to attempt to imitate them. Yo, it's a serious production over here. I just happened to get off of the train, subway, and just happened upon it. So I'm just like doing my thing. You tell me to stop. Hey, man, whatever. Might walk into a film role. Not likely, but that'd be pretty wild. So these are the dudes. Minster. This place is pretty cool, man. Yeah, Copenhagen, man. Look at that. That's what it is. I'll do some research later to figure out where the heck I was. And then I'll be all kind of surprised. Dude! Oh my gosh, I was there. I've been there. Yes, I saw that. I stood there. I was there. That place is real. It was real. I, I was really there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, dig. Look at that architecture. Oh, I'm gonna have to go over there. I mean, I knew where I was headed, kind of. This is a church, I can see that. Mozart's Requiem. This is pretty cool. It's pretty cool just happening out, hopping out of the um, the subway, happening upon some, some pretty cool stuff. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go see what that statue is all about over there. Let me show my face let y'all know i'm actually here there i am here i am traveling the, the streets of copenhagen denmark 2022 gotta love this baby look look we got the dude filming over here that's what's up man i'm gonna have to get my little film film game on Ooh, look at that that's pretty sick right there folks coming out of church and all let me get him Get in front of this sign so we get a little proper Ooh, look at that that's what's going on yeah oh yeah all right we're headed over there i'm gonna turn this off in a second and just get the little skedaddle on from this direction here. I'm not sure which flag that is. I'm guessing Estonia. I haven't seen that flag much, so I can't really say with confidence. But that's the Danish par royalty parliament, the royal whatever, whatever. Frederico Quinto Clementi, Pacifico Artium Tutori, Etas Grata, for leagues. Looks like he died of a wound suffered in battle. There is a one leg is up. Uh, look at the, the Italian flag is over there. All right. Oh yeah. We're gonna break from Mr. Frederico over here to, to film in this direction. Wow, they got the dude over there, man. He's doing his thing. Okay, let's see how we do this here. Okay, I think that'll work. I'm headed to the water. Let's go see what this water is like over here. See what's going on. Copenhagen, Denmark, where the Danes are. We're gonna have to see what's up with those guards. See if they don't mind being videotaped. But the water's over here and the Danes, excuse me, the guards are over there. The water is over in this direction over there. The water's over there. The guards are over there. So I'm gonna have to get my walk on. Man, this place is incredibly um, impressive. Look at all that. I guess if you've been if you've been to the Vatican, then that too would be just as impressive. You did? Just as impressive. 
I don't know what's going on here. I'm not trying to step out. Nice Danes, stopped for a pedestrian. That's what's up. Yeah, let's see what's going on over here. It's cool, it's cool. That's a submarine over there. Look at all this stuff. What's all of this? What is all of this? Yeah. That's what's up. I think he's got something to drink over there. I swear this has got to be like the coolest video to post. Just walking around this place is awesome. That looks like an American um, ship, but that wouldn't, I mean, why would an American ship be in Copenhagen unless unless they bought it from Americans? It did. All right, I'm, I'm gonna end this video in a minute. Not literally one minute, but you know, in just a few. All right. On the water. Yeah, this isn't the marina. This isn't Marina Del Rey at all. This isn't Playa Del Rey. None of that. All right, we're turning this off. Peace. Le Petit Café. Yep. I have no idea where I am. What, what is this place? That's the Queen's Palace. The Queen's Palace. Oh, okay. I knew it meant, I knew it was serious, I just didn't know. I just didn't know exactly what it was. What's the, what's the, uh, Queen's Garden. Queen's Garden. Alright. Castle here in Copenhagen having some coffee. Yeah. An Americano. An Americano in Denmark.
можно панораму Kierkegaard Kingdom Kierkegaard He's like That's a name I remember Keeping those and a uh, uh, uh. This is pretty fly stuff, man. Pretty fly indeed. Sad. Denmark. Denmark Vesey. Something's going on over here. Look at these little spots and all, man. A lot of folks, a lot of folks. It's popping. Some fish and chips are coming on, man. This time I'm a little bored seeing stuff and then there's a lot of people out here too. I'm like, oh man. Just some regular stuff. I think I'll walk down and then walk back. Beer, top of the trash can, pigeons, lovers, photographs. I don't want to hear anybody calling any things out. Peaceful time out here. Where did you have a meal? That's about it. Alright, this is hella crowded. Turn around up here and head back. Skip all this. I'm going back now. I think I saw that dude before. It's a little small little thing. 
Alrighty, well, about to enjoy a fish cake, um, some spinach and some white wine. Some white, uh, it's gonna be some cod, um, you know, fish cake, right here at the Magasin in Copenhagen. So, yeah, it is. Oh, it'll be delicious. Yep. It's gonna be, it's gonna be something epic. And when I leave, I'm gonna be like, wow, I actually did that? Yep, sure did. <laughs> said she added some rye bread for me so and it just came out of the oven she said so let's enjoy ourselves shall we lovely 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 so when I sat down or rather when I entered this mall the Magasin in Copenhagen I um, I had thoughts of uh, South Korea the malls in South Korea I went down the stairs and um, the food court being at the bottom or downstairs you know that's how it was in one particular um, mall in Daegu in the city of Daegu you'd go downstairs and there was a food court and yes pretty much feels the same way different uh, culture different people of course but um, the architecture or the design of the building is pretty much the same so I feel very much like I felt in Korea and then also um, having a meal like this you know with all of these people all around me speaking another language and stuff it's pretty much the same experience I had in Korea just you know minding my own business and not really paying attention to what other people what's going on around me and then the other thing is it's kind of interesting that although I don't speak the language you can pick up from context you know what the conversation is about and what what people are doing so you did yeah, I was at the hotel earlier and the woman was uh, asking for a, a wine bottle opener. It was pretty clear. I mean, she did, I think she said opener something or something similar or something close to opener. And she had a wine bottle in her hands. So it was like, yeah, you know exactly what she's saying. You know, even if she wasn't speaking in English per se. And then there was also, uh, I think I, I, I heard her say problem. So the problem, I think she said something about, well, the problem is I don't have a bottle opener, a wine bottle opener. I think that's what she said. I heard problem and I heard opener. And she had a wine bottle in her hand. So I figured, I, you know, it doesn't take a genius to figure out what other people are saying in another language if you're paying attention to the details. All right, peace. And yes, this feels very much like Korea, but, or rather, Korea felt very much like Copenhagen, or maybe even Germany or wherever, you know, these malls like these exist. Definitely here in Copenhagen, Denmark. Peace. So I've just finished my meal, and I said to myself, I bet the total is going to come to 109. No, it didn't. It came to 108, however. So, I guess that's just me. Like, if you order a small meal these days in whatever country, just a few items, the, the chances of the items totaling, you know, 10.9 or 109 or 10.90 is pretty, um, there's a high probability of it. So, that's just what happened here. <laughs> Not 109, but 108. 108 Danish krona, I think it is. All right, peace. It's busy in Copenhagen right now. Busy on the subway. Wasn't like this earlier. I'm gonna stand behind this dude, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm.
What is the woof woof? Waiting for the uh, subway in Copenhagen. Oh, look at that. Waiting for the subway during rush hour, where all the folks are. Dan moeten we nou voor Bella. Bella, ja. That's how I know what train I'm on or what train is coming next. Die moet we hebben, hè? Ja. Nou, ze rijdt niemand thuis. This train terminates at Vista. So yesterday I walked this whole distance. Today I'm riding my bike. I made great timing, of course, on bike. I'm almost at my destination. So, yeah, dig. It is what it is. It's a glorious day. One heck of a glorious day. The bicycle in Denmark is amazing except the one thing I learned is the bicycles are not allowed on the uh, trains during rush hour so in my case I had to leave it at a station I had to leave the uh, leave it at a station because I couldn't take it everywhere throughout the city only because of the timings well, you know, it actually kind of messes you up. Like, okay, you can't between 7 and 9 in the morning and then from 3 until like 5 o'clock. Those are the two rush hour times in which you cannot have a bicycle on the metro. So you have to work around those hours. But you can take your bike almost anywhere throughout the city and just ride, cruise throughout the entire area of Denmark and have a Splendid time Like I did Splendid Oh, here come the people getting off the bus. Let me hurry up And get out of their way. Cool. I'm out of their way. They're out of my way This is how the Danes do it right here I went down that street I believe and checked out what appeared to be cherry blossoms, but they could be some other trees. Pretty, nevertheless. All the same, they're pretty, gorgeous trees. I have to admire and appreciate them. All right, we're coming up on our stop here. Here's the logo. Now, that's the street that I went down. That was the street. I remember it now. All righty. Making our way to the Zleep. Alright. One sister got off the bus. Hello, sister.
and that ends a glorious day in Denmark. Surfing on the wing As an adolescent I dreamed of big things Climb to the top of the mountain to see the scene Petty whap don't want me to have anything I'm the captain, no jet lag Boeing jet swag Floating to the sunset, keep the drinks coming back She summoned me, gave me turbulence on the sink Pretty flight attendant, boarding pass, I'm a buddy Stunting first class, vegan milk Thank you. 